Commissioner Mike Causey is joining us on Two Wants to Know today to talk about what his department can do for you. We're going to take your questions as well. To get your questions answered in real time, you need to text them to us. The number is 336 379 5775. All right, first and foremost, let's talk about when folks have a dispute with their insurance provider. And that could be maybe if they have a dispute with how much their auto insurance is costing or how much medical is actually going to pay on something. What do they do? Well, the first thing is to put the Department of Insurance on speed dial. Uh, we have a website, ncdoi.gov. And we have a toll-free number that's on that website, but that toll-free number is 855-408-1212. And I can give you a couple of other numbers that they can direct dial, but people need to contact the Department of Insurance. All right, and so what happens when they call that number? They talk to who and what do they need to have like prepared? If you call Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., you'll talk to a real person that can help you. If you're calling after hours or on weekends, you leave a message uh, or send us an email and someone would get back in touch with you. All right, now let's hop to like the health insurance dispute because it's the same number that folks can call, but what they're gonna do is maybe a little bit different when they talk to that person one-on-one. -on -one. Well, that's right. If it's a health insurance dispute, uh, that would be insurance. Sometimes it's a dispute between uh, doctors or hospitals. And in that case, we have a, a program called Smart NC and they get involved and advocate for the consumer. Uh, and we've had situations where a hospital says you owe $54,000 and when we get through the consumer owes nothing. So it, it pays big time to contact the Department of Insurance and tell us your situation. All right, so on the graphic that we're looking at right now, or we were just looking at, you guys have a peer-to-peer -peer review, and that could be on anything from a procedure to a medication that a doctor is prescribing. Uh, that's right. I mean, sometimes you'll have a doctor that, that would like for you to take a certain type of medication, certain prescription drug. Sometimes the insurance companies will say, no, we're not gonna pay for that. We'll pay for this uh, generic. So uh, if that uh, doctor can justify that through the peer-to-peer -peer review, then sometimes we can get the insurance companies to pay for the original uh, name brand prescription that the doctor had requested. Aha, uh -huh. because sometimes they want to give you something else and you want that name brand prescription and they don't want to cover it. Okay, got it. All right, so what about Medicare? Because I know that this is one of those things that Medicare should be something that we can easily understand, but it so is not when you're signing up for it. You guys have some helps for that. We do. We have experts on Medicare on our staff. We have a program called Seniors Health Insurance Information Program, or SHIP is the short name. And especially around open enrollment between October and December, uh, we help seniors uh, get the best buy in Medicare, understand their benefits, and we're not selling insurance to anybody, so we we are a very neutral uh, expert advisor. So uh, call us for any questions you have on Medicare, prescription drugs, or health insurance in general. All right, and so that same number is the number that has been up there before. So if you didn't get it, we're definitely gonna put it um, in the web story for you as well today. Um, all right, so let's talk about life insurance policies. So many folks are kind of like, do I need a life insurance policy? What happens afterwards? How do I know I'm covered in the manner that I should be? Well, I would suggest talk to your local insurance agent, ask your insurance agent, if you have car insurance or homeowners, if you don't have life insurance, ask your agent uh, to, to talk to you about life insurance. Uh, many companies will do a financial analysis to see the amount that you need. Certainly, if you have a mortgage on your house, you're going to need uh, life insurance to cover that mortgage or mortgage insurance. Uh, and sometimes we'll have people that uh, a family member passes away and they don't know if they have life insurance or not. We have a program that's called a Lost Life Insurance Locator. 
where we will actually do a national database search. And last year we found over $54 million for people in North Carolina that didn't even know they had life insurance. And since we started this program almost four years ago, we have recovered uh, over $191 million. So this is a big deal. It's a free service. So contact the, Depart the Department of Insurance and ask about our lost life insurance locator. Lost life insurance locator. That is good to know, especially when you don't know who to call. This is a good starting spot right there, and then they can kind of help you guide.